Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that it's one thing to look at a wounded world. It's another thing to look at your own wounds. That's a whole nother place to be in. Now, this does go along with the last video where it's an understanding of how helpful self-reflection is. It doesn't matter the gender, none of that. Self-reflect. It's easy for us to say that we are not the cause. <laughs> but it's just simply not true. If you're wealthy in life, guess what? You are the cause. If you're poor in life, guess what? You are the cause. It's not the world. It's us. It's our inner world. It's a lot of beautiful things out here, y'all. Including ourselves own that but even in doing so knowing that there's still always something that we can work on that's fine don't wait for somebody else to tell you take time see it for yourself because it's always been playing out it's simply about paying attention that's it i have family dynamics in my life where i don't communicate i don't communicate with a lot of my family that's my choice and in doing so, I've allowed myself space and time to be a better person. Because in being around certain types of individuals, not just my family, but certain aspects of cultures as well. Not just black culture, not just male culture, not just female culture, but different groups and gatherings. Being part of those things, we become blind because we want to be part of them. So we accept initiation into these groups, ideas, or ways of maneuvering the world. And some of the things just don't resonate with us so they don't work for us in our best benefit. I had to be honest with myself on that. Because going along the way, I realized that it was more so promoted for me to be part of something. That's how it was. And to be honest with you, I don't even think it was just a promotion. It was me looking for that, me looking for acceptance, me looking to be part of something. So I received more opportunities to be part of things. However, the truth of who I am, the truth of the way I live my life, that came from solitude. That came from breaking away from groups. That came from breaking away from people and being comfortable with myself. And in doing that, I began to realize and reflect on my journey. And I seen, wow, majority of the times where I have valuable insights, where I have things that have helped me in my life or helped me learn or helped me grow was times when I was with myself. That's interesting for me because it showed me not only the power that being in groups can have, but it showed me how much true power you have when you can be by yourself, when you don't need others. I would look for validation and romantic relationships. I would look for in my friend, friend group, my family. Ain't none of that gonna give me the validation I give myself. And that's simply being honest. But in being able to be with myself and have that peace of mind, I understood more so the true nature of who I am. Now for others that may look different. Cool. But take a moment to be honest. Just be honest with yourself about it. It's simple, not easy though, but do it, it's okay. We have to realize that where we are in our life, myself included, is all by our own design. It's by our design, that the, the ideas that we accepted to believe, and we can always change those and we can always work on them, but we have to make that choice. If you don't make that choice, you can't blame anybody else. It all comes down to ourselves. But trust in who you are. Acknowledge your wounds. There's nothing wrong with it. And then you can decide if you're going to keep leaning on them or if you're going to tend to them properly. Not so they can always heal because of certain wounds it just won't heal. But if you know it's there, it will explain a lot for you. Until next time, be blessed. And please... Don't forget to smile.